My God is the God who does it all. And that's what's wonderful about the gospel. Um, it takes away all pressure. Now, God wants us to stop struggling. You know, we move from rest. Why? Because it's God who does everything. Uh, and, you know, do I strive? No. When I look at a weekend, do I think I ought to fast and pray? Definitely not. Uh, do I think, uh, you know, I'm, do I ever pace the floor at night wondering what I'm going to stay? No. I go to sleep. Do I ever have trouble finding out what God wants? No. Uh, do I have to pray through? No. He lives inside me. I know exactly where he is. And he's very communicative. I, I cannot understand religion. Um, my Bible says that if you drink living water, you never thirst again. And I've found that to be true for 43 years. I've never hungered for God. I can't understand idiots who say, oh, I'm hungry for God. If you're hungry for God, become a Christian. Eat living bread. Jesus said, if you eat the living bread, the bread I give you, you'll never hunger again. I've found that for 43 years, it's true. Righteousness is fulfilled in Christ. He is my righteousness. And he gives me his life. And life is easy. It's not struggle, it's rest. When you struggle and you fight, it's because you've lost God. And you lost your way. And probably you are lost anyway eternally and only God in his grace and his love can intervene to bring you through and so tomorrow we're going to talk about it the, the communication how to communicate firstly with your wife and then secondly with God uh, if you think I'm going to be politically correct that is the last thing I'll ever be um, but it's amazing how prejudice is in people's minds. Society builds in prejudices. And your upbringing builds in prejudices. Uh, and what we want to do is knock down what's untrue and look at what the Word of God says. And bring people back. Because in the end, the touchstone of all truth is the Bible. And it's not the way you interpret the Bible. It's the way God really speaks. Uh, and the whole notion of Christianity that's been put out by the church is false. And we need to come back to the simplicity of the gospel in Jesus Christ. I have always been of a belief that one of the things wrong with the church today is it's so spiritual, it's no earthly use. Uh, and to me, you know, I believe in down-to-earth practical things. Now, thank God I speak in tongues. I'm not against, I believe in the gifts of the Spirit. But the way some people behave, Paul said, you make yourself look like madmen. And we want sanity. I, I think Jesus Christ was sane. And he didn't, you know, make me, I've never fallen under the power, ever, and I never will. Never. Because I believe the Scriptures now unto him who's able to keep you from falling. And, and so I will never fall. Um, and I, the, the idea that God wants to knock you over is stupid. You know, God didn't come to knock me down. He came to lift me up. He wants to heal. I, I'm a believer in Christ. Jesus Christ. And he is the power of God unto salvation. And, and, you know, he doesn't make me nutty. He makes me sane. You have the mind of Christ, wholeness, peace, life. I believe in miracles, real miracles. My God is a good God. He heals the sick because he loves us, delivers the captive, always works for our good. Everything always works together for good.